Today will be the third and final test of these 200 grain spear gold dot hollow points in bear gel. We've tested them at 850 feet per second, then 1100 feet per second, and now we'll attempt to keep the velocity slightly under 1050 feet per second. I've loaded these 44 magnum cases with 10 grains of unique. The firearm for today's test will be the Smith & Wesson Model 629, which has a 3 inch barrel. I tested this load recently and got an average of velocity of 1,018 feet per second. Today's average was 19 feet per second higher at 1,037. The average penetration was 14.6 inches and the average expansion was 0.714 inches. The bullets did shed a little bit of lead and jacket material, but the average weight retention was more than 97%. All of the bullets that get shot into the gel bounce back a little bit but we've noticed in a couple previous tests that some bullets demonstrate a lot more bounce back than most. Take a look at this full motion and notice how far the bullet travels before it comes to a complete stop. I don't really care to get into a discussion about various calculations to compensate for that or what it may or may not mean, but I did want to point it out. Three of the five bullets in this test demonstrated similar bounce back. The penetration measurements I present to you are always where the leading edge of the bullet comes to rest. These bullets mushroom completely, and I believe these were right on the edge of the velocity window where they go from expanding to shedding lead and jacket. The third and fourth bullets were both over 1,040 feet per second, and the other three were slightly under. I wanted to test this bullet because I had several on hand, but I also wanted to include a couple jacketed hollow point tests uh, to see what we could learn in relation to the cast lead hollow points. One of the ways we've seen how they are similar is that both cast and jacketed have a maximum velocity at which they will perform before they begin to fragment and fall apart. There is a velocity window, if you will, in which they expand. Below that velocity, they behave like solids, and above that window, they start to become frangible. One of the questions this has brought to my mind concerns hunting applications. I'm starting to wonder if we can argue that, at moderate or high velocities, the properly alloyed and designed cast hollow point is superior to the similar jacketed options because the vast majority of the jacketed hollow points and soft points use a very soft or pure lead as their core. And when pushed fast, they stand a much greater chance of leaving little pieces of lead particles in the meat of the game animal. The cast lead hollow point can be alloyed in such a way that it can be shot at the same velocities, but stands a much greater chance of retaining all of the lead. This certainly wouldn't be 100% foolproof, but it has my gears turning. As an example, the red bullet in this picture was shot at about 100 feet per second faster than the bullets in today's test, and had complete weight retention. What do you all think? Well, that'll do it for today's test. Thanks for watching, and God bless.